What's up, Super Pals? It's your buff and your best friend, Nick. And today, the weather wasn't super helpful. It was foggy, misty to start off the day. And then it got blown out before the fog slash mist actually burnt off. So, no flying today. Instead, you get Oprah's Book Club. So, these are books that I've read that have been helpful in my paramotoring adventures and I thought I would share them with you guys. So right off the bat, mandatory reading for everybody, if you haven't read these yet, this is where you start. Powered Paragliding Bible, whatever the newest version is, and Understanding the Sky. Uh, PPG Bible is the crash course on PPG, Understanding the Sky is crash course on Understanding the Sky. A little more than a crash course on understanding the sky um, there. It gets into uh, theory and physics and why things happen the way they do. Um, but if you haven't read these two, this is where you start. Uh, after that, if you're anything like me, and I know I am, you want to know how your engine works and why it does the funny things it's doing, and how to make it stop doing the funny things it's doing and act better. So this is the two-stroke engine repair and maintenance guide. And this is a surprisingly easy light read. Doesn't take very long, lots of super nice pictures. Uh, but very, very insightful. Uh, if your engine has any sort of quirk, uh, I'm hesitant to say guarantee, but this will probably uh, explain why it's doing what it's doing and explain how your engine works, why it's doing what it's doing, I just said that, and what to do to fix it. So, highly recommend this book. Uh, up next, 50 Ways to Fly Better. This is more aimed at free flyers than motorheads, but it does give you a lot of helpful tips on what the weather's doing. It's kind of a more practical guide than understanding the sky. Um, understanding the sky will tell you why the sky is doing what it's doing. 50 ways to fly better will tell you what to do based on what the sky is doing. So if you want to find better lifts, stay out of trashy air, get into coring thermals, if you want to look at cloud patterns and figure out where you should be flying so that you don't end up in sync, so that you get better efficiency out of the gas that you're carrying. Um, there's surprisingly very few times I've been in the air where information I've read from 50 Ways to Fly Better didn't help me in some way. And maybe sort of surprising, The Lost Art of Reading Nature's Signs, this was more of a book to read to help me appreciate hiking better, but an awful lot of the information in this book has come in handy while flying. Um, wh what, what the world around you is doing and being aware of that comes in super handy when you're in the sky. Um, so a lot of obscure weather theory, um, not necessarily looking at the sky and figuring out what the weather's doing, but looking at the ground to figure out what weather's doing and specifically what um, the wind is doing. So I would recommend if you've already burned through these four books, this is another helpful book. And I guess I'll look up where you can buy these books and put links in the description. Um, none of them will be affiliate links. I'm not affiliated with anybody. This is just stuff I thought might be helpful for other pilots. So those are books I've read recently that I enjoyed and helped me greatly in my paramotoring adventures. And I hope they're helpful to you, or if you're just looking for a new book to pick up, some recommendations. All right, bye everybody. High five.